Shalom Israel. Hold on, let me uh, get this feng shui right up in this car. I'm only saying feng shui, I mean like the, the sounds. So I don't have music or an air conditioner overpowering the teaching. Um, first and foremost, all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of the house of David. Salutations to you, brothers, throughout the four corners of the earth. Teaching the truth and righteousness and sincerity. To you, sisters, holding it down for the truth. Respect to y'all. And to those that passed away serving the Most High, the dead in Yahweh Shai shall arise first. All right, I'm not praying or prophesying, so I'm putting my hat back on. All right, because um, a lot of times when I'm when I'm when I'm in my car talking, I can't stop to bring out a scripture. So what I do is, you know, I'll give advice, you know, veterans advice. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a veteran. I've been in this truth for a long time, and I can tell y'all my not so much secrets, but my uh, things that have that have helped me along the way. I think that uh, if we had more of that, then we'd be, you know, better off in this truth. So, just to kind of uh, just just to kind of you know go into what I want to go into, um, I'm gonna say something that's gonna be very. A lot of brothers are gonna. Whoever sees this is, is nine times out of ten gonna be a con con con. But I, I promise you, 90% of y'all that's sitting there preaching what I'm about to tell y'all is not doing what I'm about to tell y'all. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to explain. A lot of brothers are too fucking emotional in this truth. Emotions run camps. You know why? Because a lot of, a lot of uh, people that are in, in positions of power in this truth let their emotions do the talking for them. And I'm talking about throughout the board. I'm not sitting here picking out no whole side of, of Israel or nothing. No, it's literally emotions. And emotions govern a lot of people in this world. And I'm going to explain further, right? You know, when you get mad at something or somebody, you know, that's going to come out in the way you treat them. You know, brothers don't know how to be mad at somebody and still conduct. And, and I'll be honest with you. A lot of, a lot of times... People will tell you that I wear my heart on my sleeve. I might be mad at somebody and I treat them every bit as fucking angry as I am at them. You know what I mean? Because it's hard. It's not easy. What I'm, what I'm telling y'all is not easy, but it's got to be done. We have to take the emotions out of it and do a fucking job. You have to run a camp without your fucking emotions. You have to come to camp without your fucking emotions. Check them shits at the door. We have work to do. We have a fucking job to do. I'm, I, I honestly, I get sick and tired of all the stupidity that goes on in Israel. You know, because a lot of times it, it, it impacts how people look at us. We're too fucking emotional, man. We get, we wear our hearts on our fucking sleeves. We come to camp with attitude problems. Or we want to talk shit about each other and all that stupid shit. We have to be grown men, you know? Like, honestly, I wish that I could go back to the days before I got, you know, I, I let emotions run me. Because I was one too. I'm not sitting here telling y'all something and and I'm perfect. No, I've, I've been a brother that has been led by emotion too. And honestly, I, I I come to realize, yo, some dudes are so fucking emotional. They cannot they, they they cannot run their life, let alone go out in this in the streets and teach people. How are you gonna teach people? Because you gotta understand, almost, almost all of us have a social media. Fuck all that bullshit. A lot of y'all say y'all, you know, oh brothers shouldn't have social media. A lot of y'all have social media, and y'all let y'all fucking emotions pour on fucking Facebook. If I weren't in the truth and I was one of y'all friends, I wouldn't want to be in the truth. Like, what the fuck y'all be talking about? Seriously. Like, a lot of brothers in this truth are not 
ready to be, you know, to, to you're not emotionally mature, man. And we're living in an emotional world. That's why I don't, I don't believe it. I think that therapy is a big fucking sham. This coming from somebody that was in therapy at a young age. I was like 10 years old in fucking therapy. Seeing a psychologist or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Because I was a wild little nigga. Like, you know, like real little. You know what I'm saying? From a young age. You know, we, we don't, we got to stop with the fucking psychological problems and, and, and bullshit like that, man. It's funny. A lot of us have fucking psychological problems and we project them on everybody else and say, oh, everybody in this truth are silent. No, we, we have to deal with our own psych. We all, a lot of us do have psychological problems and they're born from the curses. We deal with these curses. We deal with trauma. A lot of us out there in the streets teaching have PTSD. That doesn't mean we need to to uh, to seek therapy. Because what I was just saying, the only reason why we need therapy is because we're too fucking emotional. This world is filled with fucking everything's emotional, emotion, emotion. Why do you think that they all of a sudden are making rules and 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 and? YouTube is flagging videos at an alarming rate and all that shit is because you got a lot of emotional people. Homosexuality is an emotional thing. Keep it real. You know, I mean, it's not like, like a lot of homosexuals would watch this video, but keep it real. You know what I'm saying? A lot of y'all, you know, you, you, you want to pass laws and make rules for how people should conduct themselves because y'all is, you know, emotional. Because for instance, what's the first thing that they say when they when they tell people that they shouldn't speak against homosexuals? Oh, how would you feel, you know, if, if blah, 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 if you couldn't live your truth? You know, this, that, and a third, all this gay bullshit, right? What is the problem? It's an emotional one. You know, homosexuals, you know, want to have relations with people of the same sex so then everybody else has to cater to not only their rights to doing what America tells them they could do but also their feelings we have to protect their feelings you see what I'm saying we have to laws and and, and you know even social media you're not allowed to say certain things. You know what I mean? You're not allowed to, you know, you're not, you, you can't even call a straight person a faggot. Forget that. You know, because people are emotional. Everybody's emotional. Everybody does things out of emotion. You know, instead of doing things that are calculated, logical. It's about being logical, not emotional. Don't let somebody get you mad and make you make the wrong fucking decision in how to deal with them. You don't know how many times back in the day, man, I used to want to get violent, beat up people at camp because they was coming with some bullshit and being disrespectful. When you take the emotion out, you have the advantage. If you got two people that are arguing and they're both angry and they're emotional, right? If y'all fight, neither one of y'all has the advantage. Whoever just knows how to fight. But the one that actually can calm the fuck down has the advantage. Because if we do get into a fight and I'm not emotional, emotionally invested in the fight, you know, I'll be able to, to make better decisions in as far as the fight or I'll be able to make better decisions to avoid the fight because I'm the intelligent one I'm the rational one you have to be rational you have to stop and you have to think you have to be able to 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 manage yourself and, and realize and you know be realistic and again be rational a lot of times people curse each other out or or, or, or argue and all that shit because they get too emotional and emotionally wrapped up. 
in situations when in reality, you know, it's all, you know, we tell, we, we live in a society that says man up, but we don't man up. Men deal with logic. Men don't deal with emotion. Women deal with emotion, right? We say women deal with emotion. We say you get emotional like a woman, but then we're emotional. No, we got to stop that fucking emotional shit and we got to start being calculated. Before you get mad at somebody, curse them the fuck out. You have to say to yourself, what makes sense? Does this make sense what they did? You can actually stop yourself from getting mad and, and getting worked up simply by doing a little bit of, you know, logical thinking, critical thinking. But a lot of you brothers, a lot of you men in this truth, you're not built for that. You're built to fucking contend and argue and fight and all that other stupid shit. You, you can't actually reason with each other. So that's why we have videos going at each other and all that other bullshit. You know what I'm saying? People don't know how to actually reason and fix their problems the right way and logically they fix their problems through emotion and fighting and arguing you know but with that you know hopefully this was out of fine oh another thing i want to go into you know just just to kind of pull up a scripture actually now that i'm parked i should be able to, to do that better um you know because a lot of because emotion comes from the heart Emotion comes from the heart. You know, you may feel too passionate about something to the point where it, it drives you crazy that things are being done a certain way. You know, damn, that's the wrong scripture. Uh, hold up, hold up. I know the scripture I want is in Jeremiah. Or Proverbs, maybe. Oh, here we go. It is Jeremiah. All right. So just to give you a scripture now that I'm parked up. Jeremiah 17 and 9. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? So scriptures say that the heart is desperately wicked. A lot of brothers don't make that distinction, you know, because they don't read the full thing. They just say the heart is deceitful above all things. Your heart is also desperately wicked. You know, you know, you know how, how you know your heart is desperately wicked. How many times did you fall in love with a chick growing up? I'm talking about your whole life. How many times did you want something so bad? And then next thing you know, you realize it's what I want versus what's right. How many times did we want something that was bad for us? How many, look, talk to somebody that's been on drugs and tell, and ask them about their heart being desperately wicked. Your, your heart, a lot of times, wants something that is contrary to righteousness. And you have to be, you know, calculated. You have to stop and think because emotions can lead you out of this truth, man. Emotions can cause you to, to offend brothers. Emotions can cause you to be a fucking hypocrite because if you're, if you're actually sitting back and calculated and calm, then it's less chance that you'll do some hypocritical shit. Hypocritical hypocrisy comes from brothers sitting there and doing what the fuck they want to do, not calculating and saying, hold up, I got to do things this way. I got to say this. I got to, you know what I'm saying? You have to actually be calculated. You have to be more of a thinker when you come in this truth. Not a feeler. It's not about you fucking feeling. Fucking emotional people make me sick. Women, the, women is fine. I get women. Emotional men make me fucking sick. All this shit y'all talking about each other, all these fucking arguments and, and all this shit that y'all have one another because it's fucking emotion because y'all are acting like women, but you're pretending to be super fucking men. That shit makes me that makes me damn near get emotional. Sometimes I want to choke slam you niggas, man. But anyway, with that, shalom.